So you just got ungated in DVDs and Amazon using christianbook.com for 30 bucks. It's amazing. Back when I started, you have to pay $1,000 to use like A-E-N-T to get ungated. Now, 30 bucks, christianbook.com. And you can sell all the DVDs you want with the exception of like, I think Fox is a um, brand gate, but most DVDs. So what do you do now? Well, we're at a Salvation Army here, right there in South Lyon, Michigan. Population 12,000, low, you know, semi-population dense. I'd say it's indicative of how most people who watch this channel, where they live. And uh, they sell DVDs here for 50 cents, you know, 53 with tax. And if we can find 10 DVDs that sell for $10, we're gonna make back that initial investment that you would have used to get ungated in DVDs on Amazon using christianbook.com. Can I find 10 DVDs here that sell for 10 bucks or more? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So this is the DVD section we have. Uh, and you can see it's pretty full. So what we're gonna do now is pull these out. And there's no barcode there. And scan that barcode using the Amazon FBA app and see how many we can find that sell for more than $10. Here's our first winner, Urban Legends Bloody Mary has the lowest used prime price of $9.39, but there are several sales that have occurred in the past over $10, so there's one out of 10 down. Okay, here's our second one, the curious case of the campus corpse. This one's kind of cheating because it's gonna be an eBay listing, not an Amazon listing. The Amazon sales rank is really high, 150,000, but there is a sales history on eBay, and it should sell for about 10 bucks. Here's another good one, Dumb and Dumber, double <laughs> spelled wrong feature this one there's no used listings on amazon and the lowest new is about 13 bucks so i should be able to get about 11 or 12 dollars this one's a little different it's a new dvd it's a collection of michael moore dvds they want a dollar 99 and it should sell for about 15 bucks so this is totally different uh, madden 17 for xbox 360 this was one of the last years they had Madden for Xbox 360, and so they want $2.99 in the store. But on Amazon, because it's the last year for this system, it sells for about $25. Here's our next win, Yanni, a tribute DVD. Make sure it's in there. This one sells for about $13, so that really does help us out in getting back that initial $30 investment. Another awesome winner, Saved by the Bell, double feature. Make sure it's in there. Yeah, it is. This one sells for about $17. So I think at this point, we're probably, that's equivalent to seven or six winners. This DVD makes it 100% worth it. So it's uh, How the West Was Fun, and it's discontinued. And on Amazon, this sells for about 50 bucks. And if you can't sell on Amazon, it still goes for about 35 on eBay. So right here, we're paying for the initial ungating fee, if you want to call it that, from christianbook.com. I saw these as well. They're three sealed VHS tapes. Maverick with Mel Gibson out of Africa and One My Bride. I'm gonna look them up. Um, sometimes these can go for a lot of money. I don't think any of these are especially rare, but always worth looking up. This is really interesting. So Seth MacFarlane, the creator of Family Guy, among other things, he has a music CD. Uh, the only issue is, you see right there, Universal Republic, that's a brand gate on Amazon. So I have to go home and see if I can get approved for it. But even if I can, it'll sell for about eight or nine bucks on eBay. This has been really great, but just to top it all off, this is $15 for the entire booklet here. And you go through here, and there's a few CDs in the front, but through the, I don't know, first 15 pages, you get the DVDs. And there's about 100 DVDs in here. So for 15 bucks, 100 DVDs, that's 15 cents for a DVD. Uh, and if they sell for even a dollar a piece, that makes it worth it. Okay, so we're back at the warehouse. What I'm doing is going through all the discs. A lot of these are like seasons of discs. I'm gonna do those later. I forgot that one. We're putting them all in these cheap little uh, jewel cases. They're all in mint condition on the back, which is really nice. Uh, that one's not, I guess. But most of them are in mint condition and the scratch is on here. I, I mean, I'll show you what I'll do. I just put them in this machine right here and it's gonna make it uh, all, all nice and new. So what we're doing is putting them in there. I have nine discs here, plus that Xbox 360 game. Uh, I'm gonna list them on Amazon, 
I'm using Inventory Lab. So I'll show you how much money I'll make off these. Uh, and if that's more than 30 bucks, and then we'll know, can I make all the money back off my hypothetical ungating through christianbook.com? Or is it more difficult than, you know, than one at a time? Even these discs work in those machines, these double-sided discs. You can't use these on JFJ Easy Pros, but you can use these on ELM Eco Pros. It looks like you can't, but you can. Man, look how nice that is. That's like perfect. Uh, we'll fix this one too. And we're gonna sell them all, because even if we sell them uh, for like 50, 50 cents or whatever, it's still gonna be worth it, because I paid on average 15 cents for each of these. And then I'll sell this whole case for about 10 bucks on eBay. Really is a, I think it's gonna be a winning ticket. I think we can call it right now. Uh, I spent about 20 bucks on all these DVDs and this one came out of the case. It's from beginning to end and here it is. Sales rank pretty high, uh, almost 100,000. That's my rule. Anything below 100,000 FBAing, anything above will go on eBay or just get uh, auctioned off in a lot. But here's the price. The uh, MF, there's no FBA listings, MF listings, $78, $64. I'm gonna price it at 100 bucks. Uh, it's a, a rare import movie. Um, you know, I think it's like a gay movie and it's gay pride month, so that probably has something to do with it. But uh, I spent 20 bucks. This DVD right here, I mean, I'll show you how it works. I'll just put in, uh, we'll put in $99. It's gonna be, whoops, oh shoot, I forgot I unplugged my phone. Well, anyways, I'll put in 100 bucks here. I'll add the batch. It'll give me a little sticker. It'll come out like that right here. I'll put it on there. I'll put it in a case. And uh, then we're going to send it off to Amazon on Monday. And um, let me see if I can even get out of here and show you the, the total. Yeah, so cumulatively right now, including that Madden disc, we're at $194 profit. We're going to add this on here for probably, what is that, like 75 bucks profit after FBA and fees and everything. And we have all these DVDs still to go through, uh, and these as well, that came out of that, um, the, the bolt case. And I haven't even gone through the, there was a, there was a bunch of movies. These are single disc movies. And then there were a bunch of like seasons of TV shows. I haven't even gone through those yet. So we're definitely profitable. I'd estimate that we're going to make between three and 500 bucks. Now that isn't taking into account, um, the money I paid to buy them. I don't use this for accounting, so that's just like the profit after fees and shipping. And it doesn't take into account any hypothetical um, DVDs you bought to get engated. But I mean, look at this, like we're obviously making a lot of money. Uh, can you sell used DVDs and make money on Amazon? Absolutely you can. Thanks for watching. My name is Blake. Uh, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you like this stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys later.